Hello, here's the best way to track sales performance versus target in Salesforce. It's the GSP Target Tracker. Why do I say it's the best? Well, it's straightforward to use. There's no extra effort for salespeople. It delivers powerful insight and metrics on target performance. And it measures pipeline coverage. In other words, whether you have enough funnel to meet current and future targets. Let's take a look. Here's an example of a sales target for one salesperson. It's the target for Dave Apthorpe for October 2019. Incidentally, Dave's target is in US dollars, but the app is fully multi-currency enabled. Here are the sales target performance metrics for Dave for October. He has a quota this month of $100,000. All the other numbers calculate automatically based on the opportunities that link to Dave's target. He's got closed one revenue for this month of $37,000. And he has pipeline opportunities due to close in October of $102,000. Sounds good. After all, his total target is only 100 k But wait a minute. His weighted pipeline is only $38,000. That's the total of amount times percentage probability for each opportunity. The result? Dave has a total expected revenue of $75,000. That's made up of his closed one plus his weighted pipeline. So we can see that's a shortfall against his target of $25,000. Over on the right, you can see all of these figures in percentage terms. And let's look at these two on-page charts. The first shows Dave's performance visually. His target, closed one deals, weighted pipeline, and in this case, a shortfall. The chart underneath examines Dave's pipeline for this month. Look at this. He's got a lot of deals due to close this month still in the qualification stage. If his average sales cycle is two or three months, are these deals really going to close this month? Perhaps Dave's target is under even greater threat. The same applies to the other stages. Are we confident that deals in these stages will get through the full sales cycle before the end of the month? Here are the specific opportunities associated with Dave's target. These link automatically to his target because, first, they're owned by Dave, and second, they have a close date within October 2019. If the close date shifts, the opportunity will automatically unhook from this target record and link to the target for the relevant month. Same with the opportunity owner. If we change the owner, the opportunity will link automatically to the new owner's target. In other words, there's no extra work for the salesperson. At all times, opportunities are automatically matched to the correct quota. Incidentally, some companies also measure salesperson target performance against volume metrics. In other words, there's a target for the number of deals won, not just the dollar value. If that's what you do in your business, then the GSP target tracker can fully handle that without further customization. The target tracker also calculates opportunity conversion rates in two ways. First, by record count. In other words, the number of opportunities won versus the number lost in the month. And second, by value. This is the total value of deals won versus the value of deals lost in the month. The GSP Target Tracker comes with pre-built dashboards and underlying reports for both Classic and Lightning. We saw that Dave was below his sales target for the month. But what about the company as a whole? Well, for this month, overall, the variance is positive. Here's the target for all salespeople. This is what we've won so far in the month. The weighted pipeline. And in this case, a positive variance. The same for next month. We don't have any one deals yet for next month, of course. But we can see there's enough pipeline coverage to meet target. This chart shows the performance for the full financial year. It shows how we've performed in historical months and our pipeline coverage for future months. In fact, there's a range of reports and dashboard charts that deliver insight on target performance and conversion rates. In all cases, you can modify the reports to suit your own sales structure and territories. 
By the way, it's easy to create and adjust targets in Salesforce. We've built a special page to do exactly that. Or if you're familiar with it, you can also use the Apex Data Loader to insert targets and modify them. That's the GSP Target Tracker. Take it for a test and try it free for 14 days. Good luck.